All right. Thank you for clicking on the video. Listen, this is part two of a three-part series. In this part, what's going to be important is really how you connect all this together. The solar panel char charger, the solar panel itself, and the Ego Nexus. And you have to do this in a specific way. You can't connect this any way you want. So watch out. I'm going to show you that. If you didn't see part one, make sure you take a look at that. It's pretty helpful. Not only will I get, get a close-up look at the solar panel charger, but I'm going to go over some specs, and I'm also going to go over a sample cost of what this all might cost you. Depending on when you're watching this, part three should be out soon. And that is the nitty-gritty. I am going to be doing a charge test. I am going to actually see if this works, if it charges batteries, and really how long, right? I mean, does it take forever to charge a battery using solar? I'll answer that question. Let's get started. Hey guys, Tech Made Easy with a real short video for people that are going to be picking up the CH1800 solar charging adapter for the power station. I just want to show you how easy it is to connect this. I know it's intimidating because we're talking about electricity, right? So in this example, I'm going to use my 100 watt solar panel. I'm going to use my Ego power station. And of course, I will be using the charging adapter. Okay. And I will talk a little bit about precautions as well, because I have to tell you, if you look at the instructions, on uh, in the manual on how to connect this, I'm going to be honest with you, they're pretty vague. And I think, I don't know, if you make a mistake, can you do some damage? I don't know. I don't want to damage my batteries. I don't want to damage my unit. So, Brooklyn's going to be here. She's going to be watching me to make sure that I do the right job. So here we go. So first of all, let's take out the components like we did earlier. We don't need the manual. You're definitely going to need these cables, so let's take the cables out. Okay, all right, so we've got our solar panel cables. All right, we need those. We've got the, the adapter, so let's just get that out of here now. So how you want to start off, okay, just so you'll know in this specific order, is you want to first connect these cables to your solar panel, and they are honestly dummy proof okay so all you do is you take your solar panel you want to turn this around because you've got your connectors in the back of it I'm only using one panel right now I am learning and sharing what I learned about solar on this channel so besides doing it with the Eco power station I'm going to be doing it actually with batteries and stuff too. So you, if you want to learn more, definitely subscribe. So this piece definitely just goes into here. Okay. There's no other way to, to do it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just take this and we're going to just kind of push it in. We're going to lock it in. We just want to make sure that this is cl clicked in. That is good now. Let's go ahead and connect the other one. And again, you can't make the mistake. Very similar, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and connect and click it in. Now I'm done with the panel. And by the way, don't open this up. This is just the wires connecting to the panel to transfer power from the solar panels to the cables. So don't open that up. All right, I'm going to turn this around now. All right. I now have my solar panel connected with my special Eagle cable. I'm going to now connect this to the back of the unit. On the other side, you're going to have another cable. We'll talk about that in a minute. So you take this, and again, you can't make a mistake. All right, we're going to put this in, and we're going to push it in. All right, now I'll be honest with you, depending on how you angle this one, this one does seem to slide out. So as you, before you connect to power, again, take a look at this specific cable and all of your cables. All right, now I'm going to lay this down for a minute 
and I'm going to talk to you about the cables that come with your power station. So you want to take your charger and you want to take out the charging cable itself. This guy here you do not need. We're not going to use this. We're not plugging it into the wall. So just take this and put it aside for now. We're going to take the old transformer, 170 watt transformer. We're going to take this guy and we're going to replace it with this guy. And you do need this cable. You see this cable? All right. So unplug it, wiggle it out, take this, put it aside. Now, I will tell you the way I'm doing it, take it out of the back here. Just wiggle it nice and easy. Take it out of the back of the unit. You don't want this connected. You do not want this connected right now. Now you take and connect that cable to this side. So as you can see, there's like an L, okay? Again, you can't mess it up, all right? So you're gonna connect this, and I want you to see that it has a green light and a red light. And um, that'll be in another video to talk to you more about these. But the bottom line is, I'm going to have another video coming out showing you this working. Okay? Today I'm just showing you how to connect it. My next video coming out showing you it's working um, will come out probably in about a week. Now, what you do, you leave your batteries on. I thought you had to have your batteries off, but you want your batteries on the unit. You want to make sure that your panel has access to sun uh, fully okay so you do want to make sure of that and what you do then simply is you connect this now that everything's connected you connect this to the back of the unit okay all right you take this you connect it to the back of the unit and all you do is wait a few minutes if the panel is receiving sun and in this case, it was just showing you how to connect it. If the panel is showing you it is, it, has, it is receiving sun, this light will start flashing green. And guys, what will happen is the front of the unit will actually start to count down how long it will take to charge your batteries. All right, guys, so that is it. It was a simple video showing you how to connect the CH-1800. One warning do not let this sit in sunlight this must be in shade or a cool area all right these are weather ready within reason this is not all right so that's one warning all right so if this video helped give us a thumbs up all right guys i'm doing a basic test to just see that this works i will be doing a test to see how well the solar panel actually charges the Ego power station. I have to be in sun. Now, everything I read says that you need to connect the solar charger to the panel, okay, first. So you want to make sure that, to my knowledge, you're not connecting this to the power station yet. All right, so you can't make mistakes with these plugs, okay? Power, positive, okay, and it actually Kind of, and I wish I could show you better here. So you see the holes, right? So it's going to go in and snap in. It's locked in tight. One side is connected. Let's connect the next side, which again, you can't make mistakes with these, right? So that is now connected. I heard it click too. You want to make sure of that. The next thing I want to do now is I want to connect this proprietary adapter into the back of the ego station and then i'm going to connect to it via bluetooth on my phone to see how the charging works um, i'm going to take these batteries off for a second i'm going to start off with no batteries on the unit and then i'm going to put these out now batteries are about 60 percent just so you'll know i'm just doing a basic test at this point all right so let me move these batteries all right, over here temporarily. I'm going to connect this to the back of the unit, like so. Here's the back of the unit. By the way, this only goes in one way. You can't make a mistake. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. 
It is now connected. I am now going to put the batteries on the unit. And I do see that the back of this cable doesn't look fully connected. You want to double check all your connections and make sure that they are solid, guys. Okay. So let me put battery number one here and here. Two batteries are on the unit. Okay. I'm now going to turn the panel around. I am, and we're going to let the panel get sun. All right. I'm only doing this for testing purposes, guys. I got my panel connected to my solar charging unit. My charging unit connected to the uh, Ego Charger. All right, guys. So it just takes a moment or two for this unit to get some sun into those panels, okay? Again, make sure your connectors are, are fully connected. Um, I want to show you if, if we can even see this on camera. There is a flashing red, uh, green light. Um, that is uh, charging, okay? And we do have on the panel, it does say, if I can block this, five hours and 43 minutes to charge the two batteries that are in there. They're 7.5 amp hour batteries. It is now charging battery number one. So these are 60% charged batteries. All right, 40% charge would take five hours and 43 minutes. I'm gonna do more long-term tests, okay? But think about it, I've got the Ego, uh, you know, power station. I've got the CH1800 uh, charger adapter and a panel. Um, I don't have a lot of sun left today, to be honest with you. I'm gonna go inside, we're gonna take a look together at the Ego app. Let's see what that looks like on the Ego app. So you can see from afar, um, actually, to tell you the truth, I have to connect via Bluetooth. So give me one second. I'm going to hit Bluetooth on my app. It is now connected. Okay. It is now showing charging status. Now, let me go to my, my porch over here, my patio. And, you know, it's Bluetooth. 30-foot range around there. Let's take a look together. So it is connected. It says here that uh, the battery levels are now 61%. Five hours and 41 minutes remain. It is showing both batteries at the battery number one on the left, 61%. Battery on the right, 62%. Not bad. You know, I mean, I got this thing set up here in the yard. Check that out, huh? Just put it in the corner. Yes, you could look how much sun I have left. I don't have a lot of sun left. <laughs> so I just wanted to do a basic test. Also guys, I'm, on, I'm only out here for a, a couple of minutes, not long. They tell you, do not have direct sunlight on this guy, okay? Now this has only been for like two, three minutes, no big deal. Uh, you do not want to let this sit in the sun. You want to cover this and you want this to also be somewhere as well. Um, and that's the interesting part because to my knowledge the longer you run these cables I've heard that it takes even longer to charge stuff. I could be wrong. I'm still new to solar Anybody know that do me a favor post a comment down there. Okay for us But I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this stuff now. It was really good to see this in action All right, I hope this helps, you know guys give us a thumbs up We're always trying to show you the reality of some of this product you know, you know I have a lot of Eagle products, but I have Greenworks products. I have Cobalt products. Um, yeah, I mean, I enjoy Eagle products. I use them. But I always want to be honest with you. Again, thumbs up if you could. Share the video. And, uh, you know, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Okay, don't forget to watch part three. And if you haven't watched part one, definitely do that. But part three is the nitty gritty. You definitely want to see that. Does this work? at the end of the day. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much.
and have a wonderful day.